Happy New Year everyone! I cannot believe that it is 2020 and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to be getting back to uh, every Thursday and I know I'm inside again and I hear you guys. I'm seeing the comments. I know you want those golf vlogs back again. They're going to be back. It's just a little bit cold outside and I'm a fair weather golfer so this is what you get inside again. <laughs> Yay! Um, but also, I just want to mention real fast, subscribe to the Golf Holics channel because um, I did a ton of really fun stuff with them recently and they're putting out new videos all the time and I'm also going to be having some of their videos up on my channel as well. So I hope you guys enjoy that. We did a lot of really fun challenges and stuff that's been really different and a lot more competitive stuff. So I know you guys have been asking for collabs and different people on my channel. So that is going to be coming up real soon and I'm really excited about it. But today for this video, um, since it is 2020, a new year, fresh start, all of that good stuff, I want to set some new goals and keep myself accountable. So um, hopefully I'm going to watch this back and do another video uh, right before the new year next year and see if I achieve those goals or if I did any of it. So <laughs> it'll be kind of interesting to see and also leave a comment down below on what you guys want to achieve or some goals of yours for 2020. First goal on my list is to put out more content. Um, this is the year of content for me. So more golf videos, more content just in general across all of my platforms. So Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook as well. So uh, I wanna keep things fresh. Sometimes it's hard to stay motivated all the time and to think of really cool, fun ideas to um, keep the content interesting. And so I really wanna focus on that this year. I want to get better quality with my cameras and sounds so you can enjoy my videos a little bit more. I, like, I'm not very technical. Um, I don't have a full crew with me. It's mostly just sometimes my iPhone and that's pretty much it. And so I want to improve on that. I think I owe you guys better quality and I want to be a little bit more creative as well. And so I think that's um, goal number two for me is to be more creative and to, I guess, go outside my comfort zone a little bit more. I tend to always just kind of stick with the same things all the time. Um, either it's like on Instagram, more of the self, the sexy selfie shots or, you know, the, kind of the same thing over and over again. Or with YouTube, I kind of do the same thing as well. So it's just like being more creative, trying different things, even though like you guys might not like it. Maybe, I don't know. Like, I think sometimes I'm so worried about like putting out content that I know you guys are going to like that sometimes I put myself in a box and I don't want to do that anymore because I do have a lot of really great ideas and I want to explore that and I think you guys will like them as well. Number three, goal number three is to be more authentic to myself. I feel like I am a pretty authentic person online. Um, I'm very open and honest, but sometimes I feel like I hold back my true personality or the fullness of it because I'm scared of maybe saying the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing, getting in trouble. And so I think I see the comments a lot of time where you guys say that I look nervous or uncomfortable on camera. And I think that's mostly just because I, I have gotten in trouble in the past for being a bit too provocative with my content and I have lost, <laughs> I have actually lost um, sponsors because of it and companies don't want to work with me because of things that I have put out there even though that's the content that I like want to do and so I've been very scared to be myself and have a personality and to make jokes and I think that's just something that's kind of hard being like a female in the golf industry because I do see other male golfers or people males in the industry who make very provocative jokes and do they don't hold back at all yet they don't seem to have the pushback that maybe say like I do or females do and maybe that's just me overthinking it because you know I think the whole world's against me but that's not obviously the case I know what my image is I like obviously like we kind of discussed this in the last video, my boo video, where like we were, where I said like I'm aware of my image, I'm aware of what I wear, what I post, and that's never been an issue. Um, and so I, I know sponsors, more conservative sponsors, are not going to want to work with me. But besides the way I look, I feel like I carry myself with a lot of class. And when I am brought into events, I work extremely hard. I'm always on time. I'm very professional. I do not drink. Um, I always make sure that I'm, I over deliver. And so I, there's never been any problems on that front. And 
Like I, you'll, you'll never catch me doing something wrong when I am hired to do a job. And that's something that like I pride myself on. And so, sorry, I'm not like tearing up right now. I just have a bit of a, some sniffles cause I have allergies. Uh, it's not that emotional. I have a couple really exciting things that are coming out soon and I cannot wait to tell you guys about, but I think having these two new platforms are, it's gonna help me better express myself. I will have full control over all of the content. And so I will not feel like I have to hold myself back all the time and be so worried about what I'm going to say. And I'm not saying that I'm gonna be out there like, I don't know, saying these super crazy, outrageous, controversial statements or acting totally different. Um, Cause that's, that's not who I am either. I am not that person. Um, but I think I want to like joke around a little bit more. And cause I don't think you guys have seen that side of me. I'm really dorky and weird. And I, I have a very weird sense of humor and I never really, I think showcase that a lot. And so that's something I really want to do more. Goal number four, I wanna have a better outlook on life. I wanna be a little bit more positive. I think sometimes that I take for granted how blessed I truly am and I don't wanna do that anymore. When I think this year I got a little in my head and I started to complain about things that really didn't matter and I made things worse that shouldn't have been made worse. I complained about you know being tired sometimes or like unmotivated or there were just so many things that kind of happened to me this year that I had a bad attitude about where instead of being like, okay, like you threw this at me, I'm going to turn around to a positive. I kind of played like a poor me victim and I don't want to do that. I want to always wake up and realize how lucky I am and that I get to do my dream job every single day. And that's really, really cool. I have people in my life who love me. I'm healthy. I'm financially stable. Like I have all these things in my life that I should be so grateful for. I think there are times in your life that you do, you, it's okay to feel bad for yourself sometimes and to you know feel sorry for yourself, but when you let it go too long and it starts to affect other things in your life and that's not okay. And I think I kind of had that happen last year. And I think you heard me say in a lot of videos, like this was such a hard year for me um, in 2019. And it's true. It was a really hard year for me. It was a real growing year. Um, I had so many things thrown at me and I didn't know how to handle it because I'm young, immature, and stupid. And uh, this year I want to be the person I want to be. I want to grow up. I want to mature. I want to handle things better. And I and I know this is probably sounds like new year, new me, but I, I don't mind that. I think people need a fresh start sometimes. And if they feel like 2020 or a new year is a fresh start, then go for it. Don't make fun of someone because they want to better themselves. And so that's what I want to do is to be more positive and to handle negative situations better and not feel like poor me. Goal number five, I want to be more confident in everything that I do. I think so many times I a coping mechanism for me is to make fun of myself and to downplay everything and I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be proud of the uh, success that I have. Um, I want to be proud of everything that I've accomplished. I want to be proud of the person I am. I want to be proud of what I look like. I want to be proud of how I treat people. I want to be I want to be confident about the person that I am and I don't want to feel feel like make myself feel bad to make other people feel better. And I tend to do that a lot. I think when you see comments and I I joke around a lot and people make fun of like say that I'm not a very good golfer and I'll joke around with them. But you know what? I am a really good golfer. <laughs> I have accomplished a lot. Maybe it's not as much as some people, but I still have accomplished a lot of really awesome things. I know when I go out, I can meet 99% of the people out there in golf. And I don't think that I need to be shy about that anymore and or the fact that I've accomplished a lot in my career or that I'm successful or there's so many things that I have done and I feel like so many people do this where they try to downplay what they've done or they're not proud of it and you should you should be so confident and so proud of everything that you've done and you've accomplished I think a lot of people do think I'm confident but I'm not like I'm super insecure I'm always questioning what I'm doing what I'm putting out um, like the content I'm putting out my next business move like all of these things I'm like a crazy overthinker I'm super insecure and I always think that I don't deserve anything and I don't want to feel that way anymore 
Goal number six. I want to be a better friend and be more cautious about people I let in my life. So in 2019, I thought a lot of people were my friend when they weren't actually my friend. And so I, I would say I cut a lot of toxic people out of my life, but I just put them in a spot where maybe they're not as close to me as they used to be, or like they're still friends, but they're not, you know, uh, someone I really trust or like a best friend. And so this year I want to be a better friend to my very close friends. I mean, I, I just sometimes when I travel a lot and I'm busy, I tend to lose touch with them and I don't want to do that anymore. So I make an effort to reach out and to make them more of a priority in my life because they are very special people to me. And that's something that I really want to do. And I also just want to not, I sometimes I tend to uh, let people in my life really fast and if they're nice I'm like oh my gosh like we're, we're friends like uh I'll, let me tell you everything because that's just kind of the person I am like I'm very I'm a very trusting person and um once you are kind of like nice to me or we get to know each other I like am super loyal and I'll have your back for everything and that kind of bites me in the butt sometimes you don't want to allow toxic people in your life just to add stress and you need to pick and choose the really good people and then when you find those really good people you need to make them a priority and to always keep them around so i'm just going to cut this video off here with the six goals that i had i really hope you enjoyed this video we are going to get back to the golf uh, very soon a uh, ton of golf stuff fitness diet lifestyle all that good stuff so we be putting out a ton of really cool and different content again we're going to be going back to you um, once a week every Thursday so comment down below on the videos that you would like to see me put out and I just want to thank you all so much for supporting me um, following my journey listening to me talk I mean this is basically like my online journal and I'm just putting everything out there you guys are always so nice and so appreciative and give me so much great feedback and support and encouragement and I honestly can't thank you enough so uh, 2020 is going to be our year I'm super excited about it and I can't wait to get to know you guys better I can't wait for you to get to know me better and to just continue on this awesome journey that we're on right now so I will see you guys next Thursday with a golf video I I pinky promise pinky promise that it will be a golf video next outside playing <laughs> and it's gonna be a lot of fun so again happy new year everyone happy 2020 it's gonna be a good year let's all be positive and have a great time and just enjoy the ride